Hello my friends from all over the planet. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are. And here I am back to you in a new video which is Medicine in Ancient Egypt Part 6. In this video I'll be talking about the art of surgery uh, and the ancient Egyptian surgical instruments being invented by them. The ancient Egyptians with their own faith worked hard to reach what they reached in this outstanding knowledge. By their own researches in anatomy science which made them knowing the function of every single organ of the body and sure that made them well qualified in the science of surgery and their papyrus documents temple scenes and the mummies were discovered are great evidences of what I'm talking about. These surgeries were made by the specialists in the hospitals and clinics were built by the temples. The ancient Egyptians were the first discovered anesthesia which was made out of a special materi uh, material from the Egyptian marble as they used to powder it and then mix it with vinegar and then use it putting it on the injured part and sure the patient wouldn't feel any pain in case of amputation or cauterization and this mix was mainly out of carbonic acid which is having the effect of anesthesia on the body. They were the first made brain surgery in one of the tombs in an area called Bani Hassan in the middle of Egypt. There is a, a scene of a doctor sitting and making a surgery for a patient in his head. As they reached the peak of knowledge and experience in all medical and surgical arts with all their tools. Imagine uh, with their intelligence they discovered the way of making a hole in the skull for the surgery and they had the instruments for that. They were the first invented orthopedic casting as they had a great technique in making the, these kind of surgeries for the broken arms, legs and so on, whatever the bone was. And there are loads of examples of discovered mummies. They found splints in them, which is something that impressive. How about the surgical instruments then? The surgical instruments were used along the ancient Egyptian history and then been taken by the Greeks, then the Romans and then to the whole world that most of them are the same as we have our days. There are loads of surgical instruments were discovered all over Egypt like those were discovered in the West Bank of Luxor by an archaeologist, his name is Qumri, dating back to 1500 BC. They were out of bronze, iron, copper and flint. Many of these surgical instruments are exhibited in loads of museums all over the world, like the British Museum, Louvre Museum, the Metropolitan uh, Museum and recently in the National Museum of Civilizations in Cairo, which was opened on the 3rd of April with a great celebration of the Pharaoh's parade as 22 mummies of kings and queens were transferred from the Egyptian Museum in downtown Cairo to the great uh, museum added to the amazing museums 
and Egypt. As in this museum, there is a special section for the surgical instruments they used. The beautiful temple of Kumumbu by the beautiful city of Aswan, there is the most famous and impressive scene of the surgical and medical instruments were invented by the ancient Egyptians as they are depicted in front of Imhotep as one of the gods of medicine as they are depicted in four rows the first one from the, the top is having a purificated sharp hook a knife blade a probe a saw blade a trivalve speculus male catheter the second row is depicting medical hooks three scope props a bag containing herbs or medical doses forceps pincers and another forceps a knife break cup volume which is the volume measuring cup our days. These volume measurement uh, are made and calculated in such a way that each of them accommodates the doubling volume of the previous dose. They are dating back to the 18th dynasty about 1539 till 1292 before Christ. They are located in Betri Museum in London University. And in the same row, there is an incense burner or a pot. It could be a container of anything they would be using during the surgery. The third row is having tooth forceps or pincers, two medical bags, or flasks, two eyes of God Horus, which was a very important amulet for healing, protection, as well as measurement unit in their own time. Medical balance or a scale. The fourth row is having two cupping vessels, which are what we call our days the vacuum cups or the ventus cups a splint or a bandage roll shears or scissors a sponge sure for absorbing fluids like blood or whatever the liquid is needles or double-ended props two scalpels and next to the surgical instruments is the hand wash basin which was used for sterilization and on the same wall the two sisters Isis and Niftis are sitting on the birthing chairs proving that the ancient Egyptians were the first invented the birthing chair before any other civilization and this is what I will go through in the next video, which will be about obstetrics and gynecology in ancient Egypt. All what I went through proves a lot and sure proves that everything started in Egypt or Egypt is where everything started and Egypt is a cradle of civilization. I hope that you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Leave you with love, peace and happiness. Thank you.